Now, welcome back, our resident designer, Hamish Dodd, and it is school holidays, so we are talking about helping your kids choose the right colour for their room. That's right, OK, so um, choosing kids' bedroom colours, everyone has their own thing about it, OK? Um, if you want, you can just let them have at it. So that would be handing them Fandex, handing them, you know, a multitude of colour swatches. Now, if you do this, be prepared, because we yes. all know where they're headed. I yeah. can actually tell you where, exactly where you're headed. You're headed right there. Yes, right. you are. That, did, yes. that happened to me. That's what we got. <laughs> yeah. I know. I've done it myself, too. But that's all right, though, isn't but it? But you walk into the room, you're like, it is. Oh. I can't see properly. That's right. It's a, it's a personal thing. So if you want the room to be a little more controlled, e.g. you're going to put your stamp on it, mm -hmm. there are a few ways you can do it. You can play Rosine Make a Kid's Colour Game, so okay. they can get out there and try that. Well, that's cool. Uh, beware of metallics, because um, they're great, but you've got to be careful when you paint them, because okay. you've got to roll them off in one direction. Nice. Usual deal to make them look good. Uh, a, a thing you can do is you could say to your child, perhaps, what colour do you want? I want a blue room. Blue. Oh, that's what I'll pick blue. So yeah, then blue. what you do is you go out, and obviously these are kind of bluish colours, a pale blue, a royal blue, and a turquoise blue. You pick three that you know are going to work and say, which one do you want? They go, oh, I want that one. They've chosen, but you've limited the selection to easy. What if, it ends if you wanted something like that? What would you say? Okay. End? Brighter colours like this, yes, you can do the whole room. Um, it's going to be quite intense. If you want to scale it back, you could perhaps just paint one wall. You know, the feature wall is absolutely fine in a kid's bedroom. Nice. So you that's go. still okay. Okay. Now, oh, there's some examples there. That looks good. Oh, that looks that good. That looks really yeah. good. And so you, use of colour in a kid's room is fun. And remember, you can repaint it. So let's not be too precious. Oh, and that yeah. pink's quite nice too for a girl's room, I guess. Or a boy's room, I guess. Yeah, and, the, <laughs> and the great thing about it too is that there's different stuff that you can use, isn't there? So all that's sorts right. of gimmicks and things. So if we do want to get fun, we um, we have of course the magic of blackboard paint. Okay. Okay. It's great. You probably don't want to paint all the walls in blackboard paint, mm -hmm. but a section of wall perhaps above where their desk is going to be. Uh, I kind of like you know how some bedrooms have sort of a right angled sort of section to them where you step in a door next to a wardrobe. That tends to be where we go and put the kids' desk. Maybe painting the wall up behind that so they can make notes on it. Yeah. And same sort of preparation, you know, technique. It's the same time. sort of preparation. Rolling once again, rolling off in one direction, nice. please. Probably don't get in there with a brush. It looks a bit messy. Okay, rolling. Okay, now we have something fun. Okay, we have magnetic paint. Okay, now that's cool. This yes. one is really heavy. That is heavy. Okay, so a tin like that, yeah. It's got what? metal in it, funnily enough. <laughs> so this sort of paint you're looking at, you're going to use the number 15 roller. Here is the number 15 roller. It's small, it's thick, and it's fluffy. Right. There we go. Finish it off in one direction once again. This tin's going to give you about 1.5 square metres of coverage. So you have to put a couple of coats on this one to make sure things actually... Yeah, you do. Yeah, well, I mean, like everything, you want to put a couple of coats on to get a decent coverage. You want your magnets to stick. That's you do thing. want your magnets to stick. Well, I was just going to ask that. Is it about sticking magnets on, or does it give it a cool effect? A bit of both? Well, it's more about sticking the magnets okay, on. Cool. But one thing that is cool, this doesn't just have to be for children, of course. Um, a friend of mine painted his beer fridge with it so he could put notes on what was in there. <laughs> I don't know. I like go, that. go figure. Yeah, there you go. Good. But I thought that fridges already were magnet but that's just okay. No, no, the colour that he wanted, it's I It's the colour that he wanted, so you can have a bit of fun. You can do a blackboard paint that's too. That's really I great stuff, actually. It's really cool. Okay, well, what's now, the third one you've got there? Wrapping it, we have metallic paints. Okay, now metallic paints are wonderful. They were popular a few years ago, they're kind of coming back, people are loving them. You must either A, pay a man if you're a terrible <laughs> painter like me, or take your time doing it. Because if you just go jink, 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 the, refle the, 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 the yes, I know, this is a good demonstration. The, 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 the reflective Wait, nature me. will be in all different directions and you'll come away going, ooh, oh, bad. Okay. Probably nicer on a better prepared wall too. So don't go shink, 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 go shink. Exactly. Okay. Yes, or stand back and have a coffee. Okay. Well, I think nice. anywhere you could put like a metallic paint, it is in a kid's room and have a bit of fun with it. Why yeah. not? You yeah. need young yeah. once, just go for it. Hey, thank you so much, Hamish. No problem. There are some really, really good things there. So for all of those tips, um, go to and get the look that Hamish has created. Get the look at resine.co.nz.